This is the blueberry wine. Still a little bit of bubbling. and still bubbling up here, too. This is the pineapple wine. I think it may... It's pretty clear. Probably should be racked. I think it may be done fermenting. It's only very slow activity. Here's the blackberry blueberry wine. I hooked it up to a vacuum aspirator. I'm going to use that to degas it. Let's just go turn it on. Now, a vacuum aspirator works on a faucet. You connect it to a faucet, you turn on the water. Now, it should be making a vacuum now on that hose. Let's see if there's any bubbles coming out of the wine. Oh, holy shit, it's crushing the bottle. I better take it out here. Wow, that's a strong vacuum. Okay, I'm going to stick it back on here. Maybe I should turn it down and have it be a slightly weaker vacuum. Look at that. It's, I don't know if you can see it. It's crushing the bottle. It does look like it's pulling some, some bubbles out of there. Shoot, I don't know if that's going to work because that is just crushing the bottle. Will it really crush the bottle? How much vacuum is on there? That's a strong vacuum. Well, I don't know if that's... I'm going to turn this thing down. Maybe it'll... I might need to get a glass cowboy. In fact, let's just... I don't know if it's a good idea to turn it off. It might suck it backwards. There's some... Probably fairly clean water in the hose. I just rinsed it out. Okay, I'm going to pull this off of here and attach it again. I'm going to agitate it a little bit to aid in pulling out some of the gas. Okay, it looks like it's able to withstand this amount of pressure. It is still such a night. No, it's really not. Okay, I'll turn it up a little bit more. These are uh, Mexican Coke bottles I'm going to use to bottle it. Because they're clear glass, they'll have to stay in the, uh, out of the, in the dark. You know, you don't want to have them in the white. Okay, this is making a little bit of a vacuum, it sounded like. So we'll just reattach it. And it looks like, so far, the carboy is withstanding the amount of vacuum that's here. Agitate the wire. See if that helps. See, there's a bunch of bubbles coming out. I don't know if that's just straight from the agitation. That probably is the agitation and the vacuum both. So, look, this thing's getting all cloudy, I assume, from the CO2 that's being pulled out. 
Anyway, there you have it. This Hobbitberry wine, which is uh, one month old tomorrow, it's going to be unveiled in conjunction with the opening of the Hobbit movie. So I'm going to bottle some of it at least tonight. Hopefully. Now, I racked this wine very recently, so it shouldn't have any sediment in it probably. Yeah, I think it's degassing. Yeah, it's under a little bit of vacuum. It's not so much that the carboy can't handle it. So there it is, vacuum degassing.